here, gimme goal. Wait. Let me make sure I got enough. Final shrine is here. All right, I gotta find where are that gimme goals. Got it. Okay. Ursaring. <laughs> Luxray. Hair across. All right, so this is going to be the last Pokemon we go after. Last event to do in this game because I think the champions tournament is just an excuse to battle trainers you've already beaten. I don't count that as story content or lore content or anything like that. So, oops, I got turned around somehow. But, uh, this will be the end. Of my run in this game for the time being although this is where I thought I saw the shiny uh, go goat at the time I'm recording this the DLC has not been officially revealed yet I know it's coming I mean, there's got to be DLC for this. Where is this thing? Huh. Anyway, once we catch this last Pokemon... I'll play this game on my own time when I'm kind of bored and I'll be training teams and stuff like that. So I'm not going to completely stop playing the game. I just won't be recording any more footage until more stuff gets, uh, more stuff comes out. Oh, I bet I know. Slash Shrine is hidden somewhere up through here. in this cave. Waterfall. Nice. Whew. I wasn't sure what that was. Alright. The last of the legendary treasures. What are you? So we have what looked like an ox, 
a leopard, a snail, and what is this one? A fish. <laughs> she you. Okay. So this one's a fish. Ooh, its eyes look like it kind of have the... They look kind of like the, the symbol for yin-yang. That's interesting. Alright, probably dark type. Figure it's a fire type, the way it's glowing, and it's a fire thing, so... This is a fire fish. Lava plume. Try to be careful here. Ruination. A big bounce! Ah, I'll let it hit me. It'll do some damage to it to make physical contact. Now this may not work because I'm at a type disadvantage. Ah, and it's faster! Another reason why that may not work. See, I got an ice type. And it's immune to fire damage. So, let's see what we can do here. It's not immune to fire damage. I think uh, Baxcalibur might be. I, I, I made a boo-boo. Oh, this is. Well-baked body is. Come on. The last one. scared to try to attack it. I mean, I'll use Ice Fang. Ah, I dodged. I think Ruination does half of whatever health you have left. I should have tried to bite it again. Yeah, this is the only way it's doing damage to me, is because it can't use its regular move. Ice Fang. Well, now I can't attack it at all. I don't think it can knock me out until it starts using Struggle. Lava Plume, Swagger, Ruination. What was the other move it knows? Bounce. It could use Bounce. For some reason, it's not using it.
Come on, this is the last Pokemon. Two. Ah. One, two, still just two. Can't raise my defense any higher. Dodgeman was the best Pokemon to send out against this thing. Three! Got it! Chiyu captured! It controls flames burning at over 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit. It casually swims through the sea of lava it creates by melting rock and sand. Yep, they were all dark types. And there it is. The four legendary Pokemon captured. Now I'm going to go back to the Academy and see if our history teacher has anything to add to this legend. If not, then that will be the end of my run of Scarlet for now. So let's see what she has to say. She may not say anything. Alright. Brad, did you find any of the treasures of Ruin? Yes. Oh, you caught Ting Lu, the vessel of Ruin? Oh, how interesting! I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. Judging by its shape and size, this vessel was almost certainly not for everyday use. Perhaps it was a work of art, but yet, a ritual artifact housing some sort of deity. I feel that there must be some meaning behind the horns and design the resembling its uh, resembling eyes. Could it be that this artifact was fashioned after the deity's very appearance? This mystery grows even deeper. Ah, uh, my thirst for knowledge is slowly beginning, uh, slowly being quenched. Hmm, you look like you have something more to report. What is it? Oh, you caught Chain Pao, the Sword of Ruin. Oh, how interesting. I simply cannot keep my curiosity under control. So the sword's blade and hilt form the Pokemon's left and right fangs. I wonder if the sword broke when it became a Pokemon, or perhaps it was always that way. No, wait. I cannot imagine the king wanting to buy a broken sword. Maybe it was some sort of weapon that was meant to be used in this broken state. It is broken! <laughs> it's... Oh, boy. This mystery grows even deeper. Ah, the thirst of my uh, knowledge or whatever. Yeah, I got two more for you. Wo Chain, the Tablets of Ruin. And again, she can barely keep herself under control. I've never seen so many wooden writing tablets strung together. It must have been an epic tale. Most excavated tablets are tantamount to graffiti or simple memos, still valuable tools for learning about the past, but nothing like this. I can't read it, but given the length, it must be a story. Yes, or perhaps the words of a curse. If only the words weren't faded. How frustrating. These wooden tablets piqued the curiosity of a king. What might have been written on them? Mystery goes even deeper. Yes, one last one. She you, the beads of ruin. Now what do you have to say? Beads like these were thought to be sacred and thus were worn during religious rituals. 
I believe they were most often worn as a single bead on the neck like a pennant, but it seems like Chiyu has four of them. Were the beads worn in pairs, like on the ears and wrists? Or were the rituals perhaps performed by four people? What on earth could have caused beads such, a, such as these, originally used to ward off disaster, to become bringers of disaster themselves? History goes even deeper. Seeing part of history with my own eyes fills me with joy. I thank you, Brad. This is simply amazing. You have now reported back to me with all four of the treasures of ruin. I never thought you, you would be able to do this much for me. You have my thanks, Brad. I would have liked to, to go looking for the treasures of ruin myself and make them my own. But I suppose it was precisely because I sent you, someone with a pure heart, that we were able to accomplish this feat. They may be the treasures of my dreams, but I will allow you to have them for now. Consider this a symbol of my gratitude, too. Take it. It is yours. Nasty plot. <laughs> because she basically used me to get these things. <laughs> you truly are an interesting one, aren't you, Brad? I hope you don't mind if I continue to keep an eye on you. From the close bond of Miss Ryford. Ryford. And that is it. That is the full game. At least with all the storyline beats and everything. And I guess it would make sense that it ends here at this school. Until we can get into the DLC. So let's save it. And... Declare the base game finished. So... I appreciate you guys watching me play. I had fun. Hang on. Let me find a, a good... There we go. A nice dramatic ending shot for you guys. <laughs> Let me see. Let me do it outside as I wrap this up. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching me play as always. Let me know what you guys liked about this run of the game. What are you guys hoping to see in the DLC? Which I assume will probably be out by the time this makes it to YouTube. There you go. Look at that goofy grin. <laughs> There's your ending shot right there. So, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. And ch uh, go check out all my other videos if you would. Hey, you can rewatch this playthrough. There's nothing stop you, uh, stopping you from doing that. And we will be back with the eventual DLC. Which again, will probably be out by the time this video makes it to YouTube. Until then, thanks again for watching. We'll see you later.